Okay, folks, hope you're all keeping well. Thought I'd make a wee quick video here just to show you as my portable tenant setup. Uh, and when I say portable, I mean portable around the house. Handy for if you're wanting to tan a few, like a box tan, so if you're tan a few butts to varnish for some flies, or if you're wanting to tan a few tails like um, um, eye shrimp fly tails, or even the likes of park shrimps. You know, it takes a lot of work in the tail, so you, you kind of do wee batches. So I made this out of a chopping board. It's an IKEA chopping board. Got a few years ago, sitting around, sitting in the guys for about five or six years. wasn't being used, and um, thought it would turn into a tan bench here. Save you a lot of money. You can buy these kind of stuff for maybe sixty, maybe even eighty pound. They're a lot prettier than this, but this does the job. Like, um. So what I've made it from is, as I said, it's a, it's just a, a wooden chopping board. What I have here is I've drilled six mil holes and I've put in wooden dolls. And these are six six mil wide and they're thirty mil in length as well. So you get a pack of a hundred. Um so basically yeah, you could do plenty of them. You get a pack of hundred, you hammer them in, and then they're handy for keeping in the likes of your threads, your flosses and all that, you know, you can um your wires, you know, at six mil thickness will cover all kinds of all different kinds of manufacturers there. So there's quite a few different ones. There's uni threads or there's UTC as well. So um very very good. I think they're well spaced out as well. I can't remember spacing, but um whenever you're working that out, obviously. Uh, put in as many as you want, but I have one, two, three, four, five, six. So I have a dozen there, and probably even never use them. Um the full dozen. Then I have a few wee holes here drilled in and I just use my, my fly clips. Again, nothing fancy, I think I got these for a few pounds off eBay. But you know they're they're hard enough you put in. And then again, if you, say like you're you're watching, say you're watching TV and you're doing this, you know you want to keep your flies handy. If you put them on a bit of foam, and get a bit messy. They can fall off behind the sofa, chairs, it's caught on it or something else. So you just it's hard enough to just keep them all neat like that there. Um, I didn't. I do have a, a face now with pedestal that I could use, but I did use this. This is no one. This is this face is very old like. But it would have been from one of the old kits. And every flag tire or majority of flag tires got one of these cheap faces years ago. Um still have been it. What I done is I just drilled a hole in it and a bit of gorilla glue and it's fairly secure as well, so I can use that. And then you can just you know, like I said, for Irish shrimp flies, you know, you can just work off that, put a hook in, tie up, and away you go. It's portable, it's handy. It's also if you don't have a dedicated bench in the house. Maybe if you have this, you could put this aside, you could put it in the cupboard, take it out again whenever you're working as well. So it's, it's worth worth giving it a go. It's not, it doesn't take long to, to make as well. You can tailor it yourself. So if these wee holes here, you can make them for holding in some tools. You don't have to drill the whole way through even. Um, you could, you know, different scissors, bobbins, etc. as well. Tie it away, or make it the way you want. But I said it's fairly straightforward. I would say all in all, if you have the stuff around the house, you could probably do it from their tenner, you know, so it's definitely worth, worth giving it a go. And that's it folks, just, just thought I'd try out a video with this. And um, thanks very much for everyone watching the videos, and thanks for um, all the interactions recently as well, and the subscriptions. And I'll chat to you soon. Tight lines.